All right, so we're gonna make our Alfredo sauce. This is the pot that I boiled everything in. So I'm gonna turn this off of high and bring it down to a medium. And this is one, two, about three tablespoons of butter into the pan. And we're gonna let that melt down. You will need a whisk for this part as well because you really want to make sure that things are incorporated nicely. Beautiful. Next, I'm going to add my cream cheese. That way we can get that melting down real nice. And be mindful of your proportions. I have a large family, as we all know. So do what works for you. If you're only doing this for like maybe a family of two or of four, I would use half of this block. Um, but because my family is eight, we're gonna use the whole thing because we're making an entire pot work. I'm gonna get this going and get this melting down. I'm also going to add in my cream, and I'm going to be putting about a cup and a half of cream in with this cream cheese. We have a puppy, apparently the puppy's on a rampage. Who knew? Thanks for the update. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Get that nice and melted. Get it all incorporated together. Also, our wine has reduced quite nicely. Let's take a look at that. Quite nicely. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add in a tablespoon of fresh minced garlic. If you don't have fresh minced, you could use the kind that you can get in the store. Just make sure it's minced. We're going to use a full tablespoon into that. Get our wooden spoon. Mix that all around and the smell you're gonna get is incredible. Mm, so, so good. Now remember I told you that we were gonna be adding butter to this. because We want a nice velvety sauce. So we are going to put in about two tablespoons of butter to this now. Get your Alfredo sauce if you got both going at the same time like I do. Next, we're going to add our Parmesan cheese. Oh, there it goes. And I'm going to put in a full cup of the Parmesan.
a little bit of black pepper into the alfredo. I like seeing the, the little flecks of black pepper. Y'all know I love my black pepper. <clears throat> and I'm not going to add any salt to this. There's salt in that cream cheese. So I, and there's salt in the Parmesan. You don't want an overly salty Alfredo sauce. The next thing I'm going to do, remember that pasta water we had, I'm going to put a little bit of that into here. You're not going to use all of it, but I always err on the side of caution. I just kind of drizzle it in until I get the consistency I want from my Alfredo sauce. Now we're just going to let that cook. Our reduction is beautiful. Can you guys see that? Really gorgeous. Now we're gonna add a little bit of cream to this because remember, we're making a sauce. And I'm also gonna use a little bit of that pasta water. Remember, we're going for a really nice velvety sauce. When you order chicken marsala, um, if you go out to a restaurant, it's not this overly creamy sauce. It is a red sauce um, that goes over it. And that's, that's the wine. So you really don't wanna take away from that. <clears throat> I wish you guys could smell this. It smells amazing in here. So now we're going to nestle our chicken <clears throat> back into here. And don't forget our mushrooms and our onions that we cooked down. show you guys a picture of this now. That looks so good. Let it cook for about a minute or two. Alright, so what I've done is I've added my fettuccine noodles into my Alfredo sauce and now I've just gently coated all of it. That way nobody has to worry about mixing their own pasta and sauce together and that. Look how thick and rich that is. That pasta water helps with that, I'm telling you. Now look at our gorgeous chicken marsala. Look at the color on this chicken from searing it and the red wine. Look at these mushrooms and onions. Looks amazing. So now I'm gonna plate this up and then you guys are gonna see our finished product. That is our finished product, you guys. We made that. Chicken marsala, the side of fettuccine alfredo.